Hi, I'm Aiman, and welcome back to one of my home DIY videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a fluorescent lamp that use a ballast with LED, white, uh, LED lamps that don't use a ballast, and instead they use direct wire contact. Okay, so our ballast is up there. It's this black unit right here. We're not sure if it's a mechanical, magnetic, or electrical ballast, uh, but we have to replace it anyway because, as you can see, it's currently broken, and that's why all the wires and lamps are out. Uh, to there, keep in mind that there are LED lamps that do use ballasts too, and if you want to replace them, a ballast would cost around $25, and a pair of LED lamps that use a ballast would be $15 for a pair, so probably $40 total. But these LED lamps uh, without a ballast cost $20 total, so it's probably better to use these ones. So let's get to it. But we're gonna open the we're gonna open this box upstairs. Alright, so this is what you all are here for, which is the installation. Now, obviously, the first thing you want to do before installation is to flip the breaker, make sure it's off. And you can really just test it using a voltage tester like this. And as you can see, there's no current flowing. So, after the current is not flowing, just make sure, after the breaker's flipped off, you want to remove the fixture, which you've already done. And basically, just remove everything. Snip the wires, get rid of these lamp holders, um, and take off the ballast, and... I think we should be good to do this. So right now I'm going to do exactly that. We're going to remove the lamp holders. These ones, I couldn't figure out a way to take them off easily. So what, so what we ended up doing was we ended up just breaking them instead, just like this. It doesn't matter because we actually are just going to replace them with new ones anyway. Alright, so it looked like I was angry in that last clip. Actually, what I was trying to do was trying to break this off like I did with the last one. Now, as you saw earlier, I actually just snipped the wires off. So that means we're able to take this off. And the next thing you want to do is you might want to cut off all the wires. At this point, um, after you've taken out these ones. Oh, also, taking these out were pretty simple. You just had to fit this harness over and then slide them out. But after you clip all the wires what you want to do is you want to take off the ballast or I mean you can leave the ballast if you want but might as well do it. in our case we have just one simple nut that holds it up I think yeah just take that off by hand or maybe it's two It looks like okay so it was one uh in our case it might not be in your case we had one nut holding it up and it was just on a sort of ledge so this is what the ballast looks like and i'll just clear up everything okay there we go. All right, so after everything is taken out, what you want to do is you want to install the lamp holders. So the powered ends are going to have the two wires coming out. You want to make sure that they're on the same end as where they're coming out from the house. So just make sure that the, this part facing out is facing downwards. Or, oh, you'll see. When we put it in here, they should be coming out the bottom. All right, and as you can see, it snaps into place, and then put the next one. All right, so we're not really in a rush right now. Okay, so as you can see, both the wires are in, both the lamp holders are in. Okay, now what you wanna do is you can see that these wires are actually pre-stripped. So what you want to do is you want to take all the white wires and you want to put them together with the white wire that comes from the house. This is the neutral wire, by the way. And then what you want to do is you want to twist them together. Oh shoot, this one's actually really hard to twist. So what you'll do is you'll twist these around the neutral wire and then you'll put the cap on. All right, so as you can see with the, uh, the neutral wire, we have all the or maybe you can't see. We have all the wires twisted into one end and then capped off. And we're going to do the same thing with the live wire, the black one. 
So we added, we stripped just a bit more in order to allow it to fit. So all you have to do is just twirl it around there. Make sure that it stays there. And then you want to take a cap. Same one? Yeah, okay. And then you want to put it on. And then you want to just twist it on. And there we go. So we have both the live wire and the neutral wire connected. Now it's a matter of wire management. And because these wires are relatively hard, you can just tuck them up into the upside there. You want to put the other lamp holders on the other side. Uh, always through the top. And then we should be golden. So let's see. I don't think it matters which side it comes to, but you just want to take these plastic ends off of each side. And Geronimo. I mean, there can't be a wrong way to do this, is there? All right, so there is a way to mess it up, and you can actually kind of tell because there is writing on the top on, on the top here, which means that this side is the top. The LEDs actually face from the bottom here. When you're putting this in, what you want to make sure is that you put these prongs facing vertically, because you'll see on the uh, the lamp holders that they have a sort of vertical hole right here to fit in them in. And then after you put them in. Make sure you put them in on both sides. Okay. <laughs> After you've put them both in, you want to rotate them. And they should click into place. And they're relatively flexible, actually. And they shouldn't fall out, too. Hopefully. Okay. So now we got to test them. So flip. so flip the breaker, and then turn the light switch on. Alright, so it looks like there's another wrong way to do it. It looks like... You actually have to make sure that the that the the words on top, including the uh, toggled logo, are on the powered side. And if you actually see the diagram, it says that this side should be the powered end. So originally, when we were thought we were doing it wrong, we were doing it wrong because this is actually how it should be. And at this point, we don't have to turn off the lights because you know there's no danger risk. And as you can see, whew, this place has not received light in like five years. So this is, this is new. This is, this is beautiful. Wow, all for $20 too. Huh. Pretty simple too. All right, so the lights look fine. Um, and I guess we're done for the night. Now, I know you guys probably came here for the installation of these lights, but earlier we actually take a video of, we actually took a video of opening the box and looking at all of its features, you know, that are along the box. So right now we're gonna play a few clips from that. All right, so we're gonna open the box. Um, here's a quick view of what the box is. Just do a quick scroll. Um, let's see, 2000 lumen, 16 watts. Wait, that's the Spanish one. <laughs> uh, 2000 lumen, 16 watts, 50,000 hours. Nah, last pretty long and they're 48 inches long. They're daylight lights. Um, Sixty warranty. Okay, pretty much all the important parts. Wait. Estimated yearly cost is two dollars. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Um, it says it comes with toggled LED lamps, a pre-wired non-shunted lamp holder, um, two non-shunted lamp holders, two wire nuts, and one fixture modification label. And it says. Um, it's better to use a toggled lamp versus a ballast because you can never, you never have to replace a ballast again. It eliminates the fluorescent ballast buzz, which you guys are probably familiar with. The simple wiring saves more energy and, um, ballast compatible tubes only work with certain ballast tubes types. Okay, so let's get to opening it. All right, so this is probably what you guys are waiting for instead of me having to go over the box. But first off, we got the lamp holders and we also have the electrical caps right here. Uh, I'm not sure, is that what they call it? Um, okay, they don't even have it on here. But they also have the electrical uh, caps right here. Then you have... Um, I think these are non-chunted lamp holders. 
which means that they have the wires coming out at the end. I'm gonna put that down here. And then we have the LED tubes themselves. Okay. So these have a inst installation guide, an instruction manual wrapped around them. I'm just going to lay these down real quick and try to take this off. Uh, and of course, when you're installing anything, you should always read the installation ma manual first. All right, so I'm Ayman, and today I showed you how to replace fluorescent lights that use a ballast with this toggled T8 slash T12 LED direct wire that doesn't even need a ballast. And this by far is cheaper by $20 than this $40 ballast replacement. So, you know, pretty worth it for us. And let me just crawl over here. There's also a, a lifetime residential warranty. So, I mean, you might want to keep that in mind because six years, you might forget about that. But for now, I guess that's it. So, I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like or comment, subscribe, and we've got other videos on I and Ayman. We just did a video on how to replace this light switch over here. So, go check that out, and I'll see you there. But for now, um, I think the next video, actually, we're probably going to be... Or maybe you won't be doing a video on this, but we're probably going to be uh, fixing this washing machine here because you can see it's uh, getting a bit bad. Or maybe you didn't pan. But uh, I'll see you there, and for now, I guess that's it. So, signing out. Peace.